So I've shown you a few ways to get our partner down from the back position. Um, each of these waves is basically, you're gonna rotate in between each other. This is gonna be your go-to's when you're behind someone. This is the most easiest and effective way to get someone down when you're behind them, okay? So, we are tried everything on our partner. It might not work. He's putting a lot of pressure into us and we can't really get to the side of him to actually get him to fall or lean forward. So because his feet are in front of him and he's putting back pressure into us and we can't get to the side or step in front of him, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the chair out from under him. So I'm gonna look at one foot. I'm gonna use that same side foot to step right behind his heel and then I'm gonna pull him down to the mat as if I was sitting him down into a chair. Okay, so he's putting a lot of pressure into me. I'm like, oh, I can't go around him, I can't lift him. I'm just gonna pull him back, pull him down into the chair. And of course, let's attack our partner right after passing or submitting, okay? So I have my partner's back. A lot of back pressure, he's pushing into us. I'm like, oh, I can't get around him. I'm gonna pull him into the chair, look at that foot, step him down to the back. If I can, put weight over his chest, look to control him and or submit our opponent. One more time. This is a very easy technique, very efficient, very easy to start doing, even at white belt. You can't get someone down. You're like, oh, I'm gonna look at their foot. I'm gonna step right behind them and sit them right down to the mat. Boop. If he's still upright, we can take the back, lock his hands up, of course, not the submission. 